Alright guys, so we're back with another viewer requested video. Tonight we're looking at Asus GPU Tweak 3. This is Asus's GPU overclocking software. As you can see, just looking at it, it looks much different than an MSI Afterburner. Um, GPU Tweak, it says the name of the graphics card you have at the top. We've got five little graphs right here. Um, we got GPU Temp. We got GPU clock speed, we got GPU power, GPU fan speed, and GPU 2 fan speed. And there's all of these little uh, things right here at the top. Oh, that does that. That's, that's pretty cool. Cool. Um, we got all these little graphs right here. Um, just like MSI Afterburner, we got power target. Going to be dragging that up to max. Um, oh, wow. That goes really high um let's set that back down to 1800 uh we have gpu boost clock which is the core clock um we have gpu memory clock we have gpu voltage um i imagine that this still locks the gpu at 1.093 volts since that's hard baked into it by the nvidia gpus you have GPU fan speed, which I imagine that you can individually control the f different fans on your graphics card. And you, yes, you can. I'm looking at my graphics card right now. That's pretty handy. So my graphics card itself has three fans on it. And it looks like when I push the first one right here, it does the first two fans. And then the second one, I imagine, does the third fan. Um, so we have other things. Uh, GPU target temp, 83 degrees Celsius. Move that up to 85. Frame rate target. This is different from MSI Afterburner. The GPU frame rate target. Uh, so I imagine that you can tell your GPU that you want it to run at... 60 fps or 120 fps um so that would be useful so that once the gp because it would make it so the gpu doesn't have to work as hard instead of running at its maximum clock speed i imagine that it makes the gpu shoot for a target frame rate in your games of say 60 fps or 120 fps and then when it exceeds that the gpu uh, decreases its performance so that it can stay at the target frame rate so it's not always working at maximum which will keep the uh, GPU temperature down by doing this and uh, okay so let's look at what we got here OSD what's that do oh okay this is the uh, different uh, styles of GPU tweak um, Display, aspect ratio, display resolution. So let's set background image to use with the previous. Oh, okay. So it has a different monitoring data. Memory clock. Right, fan speed. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. This button does several things. Um, Asus ROG Furmark, which I imagine is just... The Asus version of Furmark, most likely. Armory Crate, which is a different type of uh, Asus ROG program. We have Quantum Cloud, which I don't know what that does. And XSplit Gamecaster, which I imagine allows you to stream your games to your TV or something. In, GP, in Asus GPU-Z, it gives you all of the little uh, bits of information you wanted to know about your GPU. Um, TU-104, Revision A1, Technology 12 nanometers, Die Size 545 millimeters squared, Release Date, Transistors, wow, literally everything right here. It's, it's all here, man. That's useful. So, it looks pretty simple. Um, and it also has the... Uh, 
it we have this over here the uh, GPU monitor um, we have line view we have column view and we have mobile view oh you have to install the mobile app fair enough okay so this one right here has GPU clock GPU voltage fan speed memory clock megahertz GPU temperature Celsius power target percent oh okay so it just has the uh, it just has the graphs for what is being displayed right here okay that's cool and then the line view it just it displays the same thing except um, except just with numbers that's pretty cool so let's uh, let's boot it up in Furmark and give it a try GPU boost clock 1840 and let's let's drag that GPU fan speed up to maximum all right seems stable As you can see right here in Furmark, we have GPU 1, 65 degrees Celsius, minimum 58 degrees Celsius, max 65 degrees Celsius, so not too bad. Looks like it's stabilizing at 65 degrees Celsius, which is, which is pretty good. Not too bad. So, yeah, it seems to be pretty much the same as, uh, as MSI Afterburner. Let's, uh... Let's set this to uh, this and fifteen one ninety two. And let's just set it for the uh, what I applied it before in MSI Afterburner and Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's working. Okay, cool. That's cool. Awesome. Honestly, I see, I see no problems with, uh, with the Asus GPU Tweak 3. It seems to work very well. And it does exactly the same thing as uh, MSI Afterburner. And as far as I can tell, it it works. I'm impressed. Color me impressed. Alright. Color me impressed. Sweet. So... There you go. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. And, uh, you just set the GPU boost clock speed, which is the core clock, the memory clock speed, and you can even set the frame rate target, which is nice. That's for gaming. Uh, and, yeah. Seem, I gotta say, I'm impressed with. Asus GPU Tweak 3. It's supposed to be for Asus ROG cards, but you can use it with any uh, NVIDIA card. And, uh, yeah, seems to work just fine. I have no complaints. So, would I recommend this program? Absolutely. Would I recommend it over MSI Afterburner? Not exactly, but MSI Afterburner is still really a good program. But um, MSI Afterburner is kind of for MSI cards and it works best with MSI cards. So this is the thing. If you have an MSI card, I would absolutely recommend MSI Afterburner. If you don't have an MSI card, I would recommend ASUS GPU Tweak 3. So that's, that's just where we're at right now, man. What's this power thing do?
Oh, power target percent, GP boost clock, GP voltage. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh god, I broke it. Oh, okay, I didn't break it. It's fine. Yeah. So, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me using Asus GPU Tweak 3. And I would absolutely recommend the program to everyone that doesn't have an MSI GPU. And, yeah, it's a good program. So I got to say, two thumbs up to Asus for making a good uh, GPU overclocking software. I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Thor Hansen Reviews Different Overclocking Softwares. And if you want, go ahead and download Asus GPU Tweak 3. The link will be in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.